Today is game five, runners and fighters. This game is important for the runners as they need to win out in order to be the top seed and get the first round by. And the home team is the fighters today with Vaughn Weaver on the mound. He's trying to recover from last game where he didn't get a single out but got run ruled in the first inning. Let's see how he does, folks. Here though, he's got the heat. Next one comes in. More of a casual pitch, but he goes high, changing the eye levels there. Something that every pitcher should do well. And he goes for the breaking ball. Just miss, just miss, I like it. He just missed, he tried to get the outside corner. 2-1 count. Oh. Alex, it all oh. took my head and it's gone. Oh. But Weaver's struggles continue as Alex hits a solo off of him. We're gonna have to get a replay of that because that was a pure hitting piece. Vaughn tried to go inside again as the first pitch he did was successful. And that one just got crushed. Didn't put enough speed on it. Had the accuracy. And that makes it 1-0 runners, Peterson. And he throws it just low but down the middle as Marcos takes the walk. It's a 1-0 count. Alex bats it back as a slider high. It's a good pitch to hit. Now it's a full count in the corner to Michael Penn. Sorry for the miscalculation, fellas. Here's the pitch. Alex hits it in play. The ball gets the out. Alex not hustling enough. Marcos, the statue Peterson, goes to second. That's a thing in two hours, Matt. Gotcha. And he throws one right down the middle. Strike one. Marcos hits a home run. Marcos the statue Peterson hits one out on Vaughn Weaver. The struggles are immense, folks. I have never saw this day coming as Marcos Peterson hits a home run. Wow. 3-1, 3-0 runners. Where's the one coming from? 3-0 runners as they showed up to this game. And Vaughn Weaver's being pulled out again on a very low pitch count. One out this time. But he's taking it in stride, he's smiling. He realizes it's just a game. Michael Penn's warming up. He's got the fastball and he's got that nasty slider. He'll put in the curve every so often as you see there, folks. But the struggles for the fighters continue. The best team in the league, in my opinion. Ah, 3-0. And Alex swings at a high slider. I patted into that cheesy little curveball pitch, but it seems that the pads run out. As Michael says, what did you say, Garcia? And he takes it right back. It's 3-2, Alex swings. Sorted! As he flips it back and bat emphatically as he realizes a bad pitch to swing on and a horrible short for his YouTube channel. Watch them by the way, they're actually pretty entertaining folks. And Vaughn Weaver's back on the mound. I did not see this move coming but seems like he wants to go and get revenge against Marcos the statue Peterson. That is the third out as Vaughn Weber gets Marcos the statue Peterson out after he hits a two run home run, his first ever. As Alex Champany warms up, he's got that good two seamer with the slider that's uh, being renditioned and reinvented. We got the bottom of the first coming up with Alex Champany pitching. And AJ. The With the Crocs, we out the sports mode, I believe. It's hard to tell. A heater down the middle makes AJ swing, but realize he's got something there. Now it's a one-two count. Alex hits the back corner, striking AJ out looking. As uh, yeah, that happened. He tunneled that very well with the last one, as this one dove a bit more. They started at the same point and then broke off. That's tunneling for you folks. You do that well, you can almost 
get away with any pitch. Alex gets a strike inside. As Vaughn whiffs on a high fastball heater. Alex has a chance to strike out the side here. Something that's a bit common in blitz ball, but ever so impressive. As Michael Penn, the best hitter for the fighters, in my opinion, steps up to the plate. Alex starts to deliver the pitch. Does the log fake? And he hits a high strike. Michael uh, gibbering about the possible left fake. As he again throws another good tunnel pitch, he got a change up. I believe that's really nasty and uh, hard to make in blitz ball, a change up. You gotta grip it just right. But he tunnels it so well as he just misses the fastball there for a 2 1 count. He throws a high slider. And it gets Michael, and he even hits the top corner. Making a 2 2 count. I was gonna strike up the side here, folks. This would be the exact opposite of the fighters. And he almost does just so with the low fastball. It just veers off the strike zone. 3 2 count. And he gets the outside corner with a great two seamer as the runners get the inning they needed. And the fighters leave a lot on the table. Hopefully, they don't leave a lot on the table with the pitching appearance again. As they need a shutout in order to stay in this game. And he misses, and he walks Marcos Peterson. Marcos, the statue, Peterson. Alex Champagne hits the ball. It's in the dirt. Malloy fields it. He gets the out. Marcos overruns the base. Very dangerous, though. Is Marcos could have gotten out on a peg, though it might have hit me. But. I know you guys don't care much about me, but I'm here, so. Marcos Peterson oh steps up to the plate. He's been extremely hitting and uh, hitting oriented in this game, per se. Mega delivers the first pitch, a good slider. He lays off on it. It's a 1 0 count. Seems like he wants to earn the statue moniker back. And he does so still as Michael dots an outside screwball for a 2-1 count. Oh, and Marcos gets hit in the head. He takes one for the team right there, folks. Was it head and bat? Full count for Michael Penn as he pitches to Marcos Peterson. And Marcos swings. Yeah, it's a strikeout. Marcos Peterson attempts to swing at a pitch that was definitely a ball and hitting him. Like it's an unintentional, intentional walk. Till Alex swings at the one decent pitch he's gotten so far, making it 3-1. Alex fouls off a low fastball pitch there. I believe it's a 4-2 count. Oh my God. Michael Penn almost nips the corner right there as it's now 5-2, full count for Alex Champagne hitting. Happy feet there. As Michael Penn toasts the pitch and Alex Champagne walks, Michael says it's okay and I believe so. 3-0 count. He gets a slider right down the middle, making the statue not swing still. As Marcos, the statue Peterson, yes, he still has that moniker, takes it. Another slider, almost getting the top of the strike zone, making it 4-1 right now. Marcos and Statue Peterson can get a walk RBI. Seemingly his patented trade of blitz ball. Marcos. 
Michael Penn throws a screwball and hits the outside for a 4-2 count. And he gets a strike three right down the middle as the Marcos the Statue Peterson stays still. So they escape the bases on a jam. And they gotta get hitting. Alex Champagne has been really good on the lockdown so far. He's been able to not only strike out all the batters for the fighters, but really have control of the ball. Alex Champagne, is that a nick? I heard a bit of a nick, but all right. We got an 0-1 count. Alex Champagne starting off strong as he goes to the slider. Trying to, again, tunnel. Starting off the pitch in the same spot, but then diverting them. As Malloy bats off a foul ball, he's just a bit earlier on that. He could definitely have had an interesting play as Alex strikes him out. Malloy just not realizing the count. A bit of a lack of awareness on Malloy's part. And oh boy, down goes Malloy as Alex has struck out every batter so far. AJ, for some reason, providing Alex with a bit of a struggle as it's a two-out count. Alex responds with a slider, well placed. Got a one-two count. AJ misses, I believe. Three-two count. AJ gets sorted on that, making an awkward swing look even worse as he whiffs on the slider. Alex Anthony striking out five so far. Bum Weaver gets calved as Alex strikes him in the cap. One ball. As Alex throws a strike next, recovering. One ball, one strike, one hit pitch. Bomb Weaver misses an outside fastball. Two two count. It hits the top of the strike zone as Alex throws and dots a changeup up the top, striking out all six batters so far for the fighters. Now it's 2 0, Alex, with the hitter's count. He swings and he misses on a low screwball. Michael's real deadly pitch right there. He goes again. Oh, to the rising slider. I forgot he had that. As he misses, making it a 3 1 count. Alex fouls off an outside fastball. And it's a 3 2. It's a really good pitch to get an outside corner hit on. Just misses, though. 4 2 pitch. Alex swings on the low screwball. Michael Penn gets the most critical out of this inning. As Vaughn steps up to the pitching mound. He was locked in pregame. I don't know if you saw it, folks, but he was really hitting almost all of his zones. Which is interesting because Marcos usually doesn't swing. And Marcos swings on that one. Taking a, the statue moniker away from him a bit as he strikes out swinging against Vaughn Weaver. Gets all three of his outs. This is a matchup of the game so far. As Michael Penn dots a rising slider. My lord, that is nasty. Almost Trevor Simeon type stuff in Iowa last year. As Alex swings on the low fastball, the submarine fastball, making it a 0-2 count. Oh, Alex pimps one. I don't know if this foul or not, folks. It might have wrapped around the lawn. Oh, oh. Malloy is breathing. Oh, Putting the runners up 4-0. Making the momentum back in their favor. Michael Penn releases the pitch. And Marco swings as he catches the ball. A really horrible swing again. Marcos, the statue Peterson, starting to swing, but not at the quality pitch as he was early in this game against Von Weber. Uh, the runners do have two pitchers. One just didn't show up today. And now they're not accounted for the two pitcher rule. I'm not saying Alex Champagne is doing anything here. It's just merely coincidental to an extent that Jordan Lorla couldn't show up because he was having a bit too much fun last night in the most Jordan way. 
Seems like they're going to motion, emotion, motto, you motto. As I recant my earlier statement, this is the most important at bat of the game. As Alex, that's a slider on the outside. He goes to the slider again, lower, and a ball, 1-1 one, one count. <laughs> Alex just misses the inside fastball, making it 2-1. A great placement nearly, just a bit inside. Again, same spot, just a bit inside. Michael Penn not swinging, great eye there. 3-1 count. <coughs> Alex adjusts, get the ball on the inside part of the strike zone, making it a 3-2 count. Great at bat of the inning so far. Great eye. Great spot. Michael Penn chucks all the balls back. We got old-fashioned beef from two of the friends going the longest back in this league. The tension. Almost a climax. Michael Penn gets a piece of that ball. Bounces, hits him, dead ball. Great hitting clinic from Michael. That would have been a ball in my opinion though. Michael Penn drags it down the line to Marcos Peterson. I, in my opinion, say that save. A really close play, though. We'll have to see in the replay at home, y'all. But really good feeling by Marcos. He's going to go against Jack Malloy, who they also had beef with earlier this game. This seems just like a setup for the Hollywood, ladies and gentlemen. Marcus Peterson needs to get one out according to the bargaining of Alex Champagny and Michael Jack Malloy taunting Marcos Peterson as his pitching does not necessarily resemble a pitcher's pitching. Behind Malloy making it 1-0. The next pitch is a dot on top of the strike zone. This man is extremely unpredictable. Marcus Peterson nearly hits another strike, making it 2-1. Everybody is quite literally on their feet. We got a bottom. Strike by he misses again, making it a full count. This is tension, people. Oh my God! Let's go! Let's go! Right, Jack Malloy. Oh boy, it's Malloy. He shows up in the moment as it is a walk-off for the fighters. Five, four, three, two, one. It's done. It's a 5-4 game for the fighters. Malloy clutches up with possibly.